Hey guys, your host here just outside the Starbucks right on Westmore Drive, just a little bit east of Highway 27. I just got myself a mobile order, the pumpkin spice frappuccino with my name on it. Haven't tasted it yet, but I'm gonna taste it in just a second. Oh man, this is so good. Pumpkin spice is so rich in flavor. I definitely recommend you guys to try it. I recommend trying both the pumpkin spice latte and the frappuccino. Like any pumpkin flavor they have, including the cold brew, I definitely recommend. It does taste a little bit on the watery side, but other than that, it's pretty good. It does look a little bit like cinnamon on top, but it's really pumpkin spice topping. Gives it, it gives it some, pro, uh, provides some flavor. So this, in this walking video, I don't know what to title it, but maybe I can get a, thumbnail shot from here I I do see the Nova Nova bus coming I don't I cannot tell if it's an Arctic or not because it's just far away and you can't really see the Arctic whether or not if it's an Arctic unless it was turning somewhere I don't have to worry about the crosswalk signal as I still have only eight seconds left so the temperature right now is 23 degrees centigrade. Yeah, 23. Perfectly room temperature, though it feels nice and warm with the sun out. Not too hot, but uh, very pleasant. I do have a class coming, coming up in less than an hour, so... It goes to show you, part of the reason I'm making this walk-in video is I haven't, you know, I cannot make walk-in videos very often anymore because I'm in college and I have to break my back studying and doing homework and stuff. But also, I wanted to show what, how, show you how convenient it would be if the Line 6 was open, if I wanted to go to Starbucks during my layover and Line 6 was open, I could just hop on the LRT and take it one stop to Westmore. So as you can see, the LRT portal is just over there. And it, it, I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't say it's completely underground. I mean, it is below ground level, but it's not like you're tunneled in completely. I believe line six should be a streetcar route and not an LRT line. By the way, I would like to thank you all for your birthday wishes because in my previous walk-in video, I did it on my birthday. Yeah, the last time I made a vlog before this was my birthday, so thank you all for your birthday wishes in the comments. I really appreciate it. And this is officially the first vlog of the fall. Some of the leaves have fallen down. And the trees, tree is kind of changing color, you know. Most of it is still green, though. There is some yellow, which I like to see. Temperatures in the long range forecast are supposed to be steady at 21 degrees between now 
and next Tuesday, October 1st. And then we get daytime highs in the upper teens. So it gets a little cooler once we get into October. I found out earlier this week that the um, Hillcrest Complex, is, the TTC is hosting an open house at the Hillcrest Complex. And this time I'm pretty sure it's a public event, just costs a $5 fee. And I say this because last year I made a mistake by going to a bus rodeo that took place at Arrow Road Division. And some people have told me that it was a private event. It's either for people who work for TTC or someone who has family members who work for Toronto Transit Commission. So I'll try not to make that mistake again, but I did see it on the transit website, on the, the TTC website saying that there is an open house I'm not working on Saturday, so hopefully, if nothing stops me, I'll go to it. There'll probably be other transit enthusiasts that'll go there as well, but I'm not going to say what time of the day I'm going, because, well, because seeing me is not supposed to be easy, it's supposed to be hard right? You have to be lucky enough in order to find me. That's why I only do live, when I do live streams, it's only in admission, pay, admission paid places like the zoo or Wonderland. Not that I've done a stream at Wonderland before, but I might do one when I go to Halloween Haunt this year. I am hoping to see Henry from Toronto Tech and Transit at Halloween Haunt. He did say he'll make a community post about it. So maybe one day I'll go when he's going and I can meet up with him. He did say that anyone who wants to join is welcome as long as we pay for ourselves, as long as he doesn't have to pay for me, but I do have a gold pass. There's the Brampton Transit Excelsior bus. Actually, you know what? We can cross from here. I'm just gonna... You know what? Maybe I should run. So that's the... D40 or the... Um, XD40 new flyer. I have a family friend that lives around here in the side street. I'm not going to say where. I don't really know where he lives, but even if I did know, I'm not going to say it. Well, I kind of already exposed where they live. I mean, what I'm what I meant to say is don't take, you know, don't take this out of context. I'm not it's not like I'm going to leak somebody's address. But yeah, my uh, a family friend of mine does live in the area. I just heard somebody yelling. I wonder if they were yelling at me because I was holding a camera in my hand. There's a plane taken off. Apparently, Humber College is tense, is said to be right underneath a flight path. That's Flair Airlines. I can't zoom in because I'm holding a Frappuccino in my other hand. But I can tell by the logo that it's Flair, which I flew once back in 2019.
Now, for those of you who watching this who do go to Humber College right there, which we're coming up to, there is a Starbucks in there. In fact, on the first day of the second semester, there was an, there's another Starbucks location that opened up on campus, like on the first day of the semester. And I was completely shocked because it completely rep it just replicates with another Starbucks locations. Who needs a duplicate? There's a duplicate Starbucks in the in the same campus, not far from each other. But I personally prefer to go to the one on Finch and Highway 27 because there you can place a mobile order and you can go for the extra bonus stars challenge. Whereas if you order it from here, because it's a licensed location, it won't go through. The bonus stars won't work. Also, it's it's not very systematic here on campus. And I say that because it's first come first served. So like, the longer you have to wait to place an order, the longer you're gonna have to wait to receive the order. order. Crazy. like. There's only one cashier serving one person per order. And you have to wait a ridiculously long time for another order, which is really annoying. Then that's what made me late for class one time. Crazy as hell. So I prefer to go to the... Also, I don't really like ordering in person. I prefer to order on mobile app just like when i go to mcdonald's i prefer to use the kiosk just because i don't really like dealing with people and i don't really like everybody knowing what my preferences are not that anybody would judge me but still like i kind of you know i'm a 21st century guy i prefer to do everything digitally Plus, I'm too shy to speak up, which is part of the reason I do that. Part of the reason I prefer mobile ordering. Look at that. There's a bush tree changing orange. And it looks like mo half to three quarters of that tree over there is orange. So it's really making progress. Yeah, a month from now, all the trees will be yellow and orange. Oh my goodness, looks like somebody died here. Usually that's what it means when you see flowers in the right by the right by the street it, it's to honor somebody who died in an accident so that that'll be it, it for now so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this leave a like comment and subscribe and I gotta get in the building to go to class, although I do have some leeway time to myself, but don't wanna dawdle, so but let's watch this bus go by. It looks like the Nova bus, LFS from Brampton Transit. All right, take care, bye-bye.